and my storage. And I get a lot of questions about this because um, when I film videos, like if I film videos in here or post pictures on Twitter and you guys can see my, my rack, my rack, <laughs> me and my best friend, oh my gosh, I'm like getting freaked out because I'm by myself and every little like noise I feel like, like, I don't know, I don't even want to talk about it because I don't want to scare myself, but me and my, um, page. I have to lock myself in the restroom here. Okay. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching. Today's video is going to be my fall favorite nail polishes, and I get this request a lot. Now, if you follow me on Twitter, um, Facebook, or Instagram for iPhones, um, you guys know that I am a fanatic about my nails and nail polishes and all that good stuff because I have like a ton of nail polishes. I have way too many um, for just one girl. And um, I don't share um, this passion or this obsession or this addiction. Um, I mean, I'm not alone with this addiction is what I'm trying to say. Um, my best friend is also the same way. Um, she's my roommate too, so we borrow each other's nail polishes all the time. Um, in just a minute, I'll show you guys her storage and then also... Um, oh my gosh. Oh. Hello? Hey. Hey. I'm in the middle of filming a video and like, I'm like, cause I'm by myself, I'm in the middle of filming a video and did I hang up on her? I hung up on her. So anyways, I'll show you her, your, blah, blah, blah. I'll show you, you, I'll show you guys her favorites in just a moment. I swear it's almost like English is my second, second language cause I have such a tro, so, <laughs> ah, have like a, big problem pronouncing things like diction is not my friend sometimes um I'll show you guys her favorites in just a minute but I want to get to mine and then um, storage oh my gosh I'm gonna kill myself this video is so horrible I, I feel like an amateur right now hello <laughs> okay so I maybe I hung up with on you with my cheek I don't know but I'm in the middle of filming a video um, and every time like I hear a noise or like something like freaks me out because I'm by myself but yeah. Shut up! Don't say that. You're so mean. Hold on. Let, let me put. Do nothing to you. Oh, shut up. Let me put you on speaker so you can say hi to everybody on YouTube. Say hi. Hi, everybody on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> you're crazy. Oh, wait, oh, cause you're filming, huh? Yeah. So oh, okay. give yourself a shout, girlfriend. What up, people? <laughs> Guys. Shut up! Stop saying that. You need to tell them who you are. They don't know who the hell that they're talking to on the phone. Oh, this is Miss Carly, California. Hello. I'll, I'll put her information in the description box down below. I'm gonna hang up on you now, Carly, because I need to go. I'll call you right back, okay? I will. Okay. Wash your booty. All right, bye. So, anyhow, I don't know what happened to the color of the camera, but. Also, as you guys can see, I'm in pajamas. This is actually a onesie, but I didn't want to confuse anybody at first. It's like totally a onesie with like cat feet. Isn't this freaking cute? I got it at Target like maybe an hour ago, um, and it was like almost $30. I was like, ugh, but it's so cute. And I got Jude onesies too, so I think we're going to take like some of the Christmas pictures um, in our onesies near the tree that we're eventually gonna get so I'm excited about that um, Anyways, I'm totally like scatterbrained off subject like I have been a lot of times, but I think it's kind of fun that way It's a lot um, More entertaining to watch if I'm like, oh uh, look at this nail polish. Okay. Anyways, look at this one like so boring This is my life. This is what happens when I'm by myself talking to you guys Seriously insane. Thank God I'm recording it because a lot of times I'm like so pumped and talking to the camera and it's not even recording. Anyways, hello. Um, let's get into the nail polishes. It's fall, going into winter, and I'm kind of trying to hold on to color as much as I can. Um, but I know a lot of the neutral colors and the dark colors are really popular during fall. And I'm going to start with um, this brown nail polish. When I say brown, I hate brown. Like, I hate saying brown because I just feel like I'm talking about caca. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm 27 and I'm laughing about saying caca. Like, seriously, who says caca except for my two-year-old son? But anyways, 
That's what it kind of reminds me of, but I don't, ew, that's gross, but I don't wear it alone. Like, I do my Conad snap stamping on top of it, so, like, the black cheetah print, and it's perfect with this nail polish, because it's that brown. <laughs> and this is in very structured, mm-hmm. The next um, neutral color would have to be this nudie color from OPI. That one was from Essie. This is Dulce de Leche, and I love it. So if you guys want a nude color, I know it's almost like the same color as my skin, which will kind of look funny because it's like just a long gold finger with no, <laughs> no nails, but I really like it. I don't care what anybody says. I can wear it if I want to. Okay, and for my dark colors, another OPI... Most of these are OPI. Um, this one is called Susie Say Da. I don't get it. Susie says da. What? What? Wait. Susie says da. I don't get it. <laughs> Anyways, this is a dark brown. I really like it. It's not a clock color. It's like a chocolate color. Oh, you can see it's almost like halfway gone to hell. Do you see that? I need another bottle and I love this nail polish. It's really pretty. I wish I would swatch it, but I really like my nails right now and I don't want to jack them up. If you want to know what this is, check out my Instagram or my Twitter and I'll post a picture and the name of the polish is there because I'm totally going to get lost talking about glitter. Um, this next one is my favorite purple. It's like a purpley pink and I wear it a lot. I was um, subscribed to this, it's called Monthly Makeup Club or something like that. I forget. I mentioned them in my um, nail polish uh, review of Julep, and this is one of the nail polishes that they sent me. This one and a red one, and I was kind of like, what the hell? I only got two nail polishes, but they sent me this one, and I ended up being addicted to it. So I really um, recommend this shade. If you guys are looking for like a purple, kind of a pink, um, a fuchsia pink, like this is perfect. This is called No No Spain, No Gain. And I love the name because it reminds me of my mom. There's a song called No Pain, No Gain, or No Gain, No Pain, No, no, Pain, no Gain from Betty White. If you guys haven't heard it, like look it up. And I'm sure if you guys have mothers that were with it um, in the 90s, I'm sure you've heard it. And every time, like, I remember one of these like devastating breakups that I had with my boyfriends. Um, and I was just like, oh, I felt like the world was gonna end. My mom played that song and like went in my room, put it in the CD player and like walked out and it like made me feel like, hell yeah, like, <coughs> I forget, but I just felt like so much better. I don't know. I felt like a grown ass woman after hearing that song and you guys need to look it up. If you're going through a breakup, listen to that and you'll be like, I don't care. Like, whatever. Anyways. Again, okay, this next one is really, really cool, and it kind of, kind of reminds me of Andrea, Andrea's Choice, or Andrea's Choice, um, here on YouTube, when she did her Galaxy Nails. It kind of reminds me of that. I got this one before I saw her tutorial, and um, I think Kourtney Kardashian said that this was one of her favorites. Either Kourtney or Kim, I forget, but I had to get it because I love them, and of course, everybody's like, oh, I have to check it out if they love it. It's called My Private Jet, and it's... I don't know. I don't know how to describe the color because it's like a dark iridescent color with specks of green glitter throughout it. It's really strange because when you look at the bottle, it looks like a dark gray color, but it's really not. It's like kind of all over the place. I don't know how to describe that. It's really pretty though. The next one, like a purpley color, because I love purple during the fall, um, would have to be Julie G here on YouTube. Hi! I love her. I love your nail polishes too. Everybody, if you don't know about these nail polishes, go to Rite Aid and check them out. And this one is Fashion Friday and I love it. Hopefully they're still carrying them. I think they are. And this is one of my favorite. This one and Stiletto would have to be my two favorites. And love it. So check it out. Okay, now the next polish and the last polish that I'm going to show you guys is one from OPI and it's from their new collection, the Muffet. Muppet or Muffet? I, I don't know which one it is, but it's from their new like glitter collection, and this one sucks, so don't even get it. Seriously, it sucks. It's called Getting Miss Piggy with it. Okay, I don't get it, but okay. Um, and it looks really pretty on the, like, the bottle looks really great, doesn't it? Like, what is she talking about? Doesn't it look gorgeous? No, it sucks. Seriously, the glitter payoff sucks, and I think there's like maybe too much. It's either pretty in the bottle and I got super excited because I'm like oh my gosh totally ho holiday nail um, polish but no 
The color payoff sucks. You probably have to use maybe about six layers. I kid you not, six layers to make it look like the bottle. I'm going to show you guys my um, storage and then also her storage. So stay tuned. Stay tuned. Hello. Okay, so here is my nail polish collection. And this is just part of it because I have a lot of nail polishes in a big bin underneath my... Um, restroom sink and I just have it on this cubicle here as so you guys can see I have like a basket full of laundry Jude's potty chair and then the bathtubs on this side and I just have this like little cubicle um, table that I got from Ikea and then these racks I got from eBay which are great if you have the counter space for it but the bad thing is that now this top space I don't have any room to put anything else but these nail polish racks and they're acrylic they're made from acrylic and um, I ordered one from eBay for about 40 bucks and I'm not going to tell you guys the seller because I wasn't really happy with the service because it came broken and I asked them for another one after I sent pictures and I don't know if you guys can see here but it was broken I just used super glue and I fixed it but I had sent pictures of it broken to the company and they sent me a replacement which is this one so now I have two but I told them the packaging was really poor and that's why it was broken because I mean there was no um, like bubble tape or anything like that to prevent it from cracking and it was sent the same way but thankfully um, it didn't come broken but anyhow, I really like the racks, don't get me wrong, because it kind of has that salon feel. But I love the racks that go on the wall. And I want to show you guys the one um, that we put up in my best friend's restroom, who is also my roommate. Um, because I didn't have any room for it here in my restroom because I already have things on my wall. So um, I just gave it to her. Yay! So let's take a look. So is this a process that you can do alone or do you need help? You need someone to hold it. So you can do the first top, the top two screws. Don't get my face. I'm not. And then you just use a hammer to... To secure the screw and then turn it with your screwdriver. There we go. Nice and... Sturdy. Ta-da! It's so cute! Now the best part is just adding your nail polish! Woo! Type, just all kinds. It fits most nail polish bottles. Skinny, tall, fat, what have you. So it's perfect. And it looks like she went with a bunch of glitter and pink. <laughs> Here is Nina Ultra Pro, one of my favorites. Love it! Set you V and Nail Envy. Woo -hoo. <laughs> my favorite so if you guys have a small restroom or a small bedroom you don't have a lot of counter space this is something that I would recommend because obviously it doesn't take up very much space because on your wall a couple of screws holds all the weight of those nail polishes perfectly easy to install I think how long do you think it, it took for you to install this a minute a minute to install okay so this video is like fall favorites fall favorite nail polishes what would be your top four polishes for fall. Okay. I never really I don't know what fall means, so I just wear <laughs> this is my favorite this is one. Which one's that one? This is the China Glaze Purple Panic okay. in Neon. Um NYX uh Sweetest Pink. And I always top it with the NYX glitter in uh alright in this guy. <laughs> There's no name on that. Um, Teenage Dream by OPI. Woohoo! Also goes good with that. And then probably, dang, a cross between a green and like a very light lavender. So I'm going to say I have four favorites because these are, love it. Yeah, okay. So Okay, so hopefully you enjoyed uh, my quick little interview with uh, my roommate. I just wanted to tell you guys where I got the rack because I'm sure I'm going to get tons of questions where you get the rack. I just showed a sneak peek on Instagram um, and girls were like, oh my god, where'd you get that rack? 
And also, I think, did I post it on, on Facebook? I think I did, and same thing, everybody wanted to know where I got the rack. I got it from um, DecoNailPolishRacks.com. I'll be putting the link in the description box down below so you guys can just click it and then go straight there. Um, and the, I'm trying to think of how, it was $60 for the rack, and it comes in a couple of different colors, like purple, hot pink, white, and polka dots. Um, trying to think. I wish it came in black because that one was seriously what I wouldn't have thought about it. White, I just went with white because it's just safe and then you know whenever you move out or decide to move the location of the rack, white is a really easy color to match. Um, it holds 60 bottles of nail polishes and um, the only code that I found online would probably be Barbie, B-A-R-B-I-E. Um, maybe because the cutout of the of the frame kind of looks like Barbie's kind of a like a I don't know like Barbie-esque kind of a feel to the shape of the the frame of the rack but anyway so it's like Barbie for 10% off I'll be putting all the information in the links down below if you're interested thanks guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time bye